our job as a lineman doesn't deviate, doesn't change. Our job is to keep our body between a defender and a ball carrier. That's the science of what we teach. Everybody with me on that? So, again, the same way we, before we ever teach a pass protection scheme, before we ever go in there and draw up two jet or three jet or, you know, 62, 63, whatever you call your protections, okay, we want to make sure that our guys understand how to keep their body effectively between a defender and a ball carrier and understanding why it's important, all right? So the first objective for us, for our offensive linemen, all right, they need to understand how they're being attacked and why, okay? The reason that guys like J.J. Wide and, and, and Jadavion Clowney and all these people that are uh, highly paid, uh, highly skilled athletes are so important on the defensive line is, import, is, is because their ability to close space in their pass rush. Everybody with me on that? Their get off, their length, their ability to, to gain ground uh, on the quarterback uh, before he ever gets into the top end of his progression, all right? So, if defensive linemen are taught to close space, an offensive lineman should be taught to create space. Everybody with me on that? So that's the first thing we talk about is proper pre-snap weight distribution, kicking with sequential steps. We want the pass rush to happen in front of us and not on top of us, okay? We talk about our centers match matching the wall. Obviously, they're going to be lined up further ahead than the guards and tackles because of the, the, you know, the, the alignment, but making sure they match the wall. A big part of it, we talk about eyes, reading the release of the defenders, okay? So the same way a corner has to read the release of a receiver, right? Uh, we want to be able to read the release of a, def a defensive tackle or a defensive end and understand how he's attacking us, all right? And so they can protect themselves against the pick, all right? From there, we talk about square hips and shoulders. We want to try to keep our hips and shoulders parallel to the line of scrimmage as long as possible until we get to the intersection point. So we talk about square the line, square the man, and then we talk about setting to cover, which we'll discuss here shortly. All right, proper weight distribution being able to get your proper depth, and then being able to brace at the top end of your pass set so you can have a proper punch, all right? So we'll also talk about, all right? So dominant strike position, shoulders back, hands up, tight elbows, palms open, all right? Uh, four to six inches off your frame, and then cleats on the, in the ground, never on your toes, okay? So we'll kind of get into some of that stuff, all right? We talk about set to cover, all right? Our premise for us is we want to set to cover at least two-thirds of the defender that we're blocking. Everybody with me on that? Okay, so if you look at this picture here, that red line is your hips and shoulders of the offensive lineman. Does that make sense? Those are your most powerful points in terms of being attacked by a defender. When we talk about setting the cover, when you can force a defender to run down the middle of you, I think you've won a small battle. Because guys who coach both ways in here, defensive linemen are taught to rush half a what? Half a man, correct? So we want to take that, take that opportunity away from the defense or the defenders and make them rush your whole man where you're powerful. Okay, if we short set, which happens in particular to your guards a lot of times because they're afraid of getting beat inside. We make a huge emphasis about not getting beat inside. We short set and don't set to cover. You see, you see what happens to the angle of our hips and shoulders, okay? Defenders work that upfield shoulder, and, and what's, what, what's the drill you always see at camps? What's the drill that your D-line coach always works? You teach this D-lineman to run the what? The hoop. You guys understand what I'm saying? They teach guys to dip that inside hip, inside shoulder, and rip through that soft shoulder of that offensive lineman. Okay? We can take that away by setting the cover. If we, saw, if we short set or don't set to cover enough surface of that defensive lineman, we fix a problem. Yes, we don't get beat inside. Okay? But we create a problem by creating a short edge. Everybody with me on that? Okay? You're going to give up more sacks, with, in my opinion, of guys getting beat around the edge and a soft shoulder than you are guys getting cha-cha countered inside. Okay? Because for a guy to go and stick his foot in the ground and go inside, it takes more time. Everybody with me on that? And then oversetting, obviously, is a problem because now if you overset, the defender can stick his foot in the ground, rip across your face, and the only way to stop it is now to open your hips and shoulders up into the quarterback or inside. Everybody follow me?